So why don't you talk a little bit about the project you've been working on lately? Sure. So uh, when I'm when I was so concerned with Bitcoin price and staring at charts all day, it consumed my consciousness. It didn't leave anything for anything else. Um, now that I've chilled out with that, um, I have all the time in the world to do something which I think could be better than Bitcoin. Um, and that's a strong statement. So basically, we've got this uh, world where miners will mine anything as long as they think it'll pump. So I just recently mined a token that you could mine a CPU before the GPU guys got to it. Why? Because it might pump. I want it, right? I want, I'm used to mining and watching things go up. I want that thing. So, and you couldn't buy it, it wasn't for sale, right? And I built all these supercomputers anyway that I was going to mine my own new token with. So it's like, you know, why not have them do this? So if it's true that miners will mine anything, as long as they get a token and, re and reward, well, why don't we have them mine things that make the world a better place instead of a worse place? So every cryptocurrency that you see right now, with very few exceptions, like 99.99% of cryptocurrencies, waste the power of the hardware they're running on. So you've got these super smart CPUs, super smart GPUs that are designed to do branch prediction and you know all types of optimized things for, op for certain codes. And none of that gets, gets used. And they just do SHA-256 over and over and over and over and over again, over and over and over again, just to waste time which is the name of the game. It's supposed to be wasteful, right? If it wasn't wasteful, it'd be cheaper to attack the network because you could resell the, the non-waste to make it cheaper to attack the network. Well, first off, our, our, our uh, cryptocurrencies are barely secured by that hash rate. Bcash has way less hash rate than Bitcoin. Is it getting double spent attacked? Nope. Same hash rate, same, same system, different hash rate. Why isn't the weaker one getting fucked up? Because it just doesn't happen, okay? You can't make much money on it, right? 51% attacks aren't very profitable. If you want to hear about why, go watch Andreas. I don't feel like doing it for 10 minutes. Let's just I, I, say that... I, I watched Andreas recently on that. It was, yeah. it was very interesting. Yeah, sure. If, what can you do with a 51% attack? You can do one double spend, and then everyone routes around you, and you can't do it again. You just waste a lot of money. Or you could just get paid to maintain the network, not do the double spend, and make money mining it, right? So... Since nothing gets attacked this hash power way, it's fake security. It's security theater. It's the TSA of blockchains. We don't need this much hash rate. It's just wasted fucking electricity. What if we could replace all that waste of electricity and dumbing down and making retarded of hardware and, and do real science with it? Do computational fluid dynamics, do machine learning, do, uh, I mean, it's not going to make the world the best place, but, uh, you know, rendering for movies, for digital movies. And I could go down the list of, any EXE file that you run that makes the world a better place, well, wouldn't it be better to have all these mining computers, these billions of dollars of computers wasting hundreds of millions of dollars of electricity every year doing better work? And if all that's required is that the miners get a token and reward, I can do that. So I have a buddy that wrote um, some super advanced computational fluid dynamic software. If you go on cfdtoken.com, you can see how SpaceX uses their CFD software to bring us to Mars and build rocket engines, and that's what this software that we have was designed for originally. It's for rocket engines. And, uh, you know, we give it to miners. They run it. They get our CFD tokens. It's going to be a different... It's not going to be CFD as a ticker symbol. Maybe it'll be CFDX or something. Uh, they get the tokens. And then scientists give work to the job server. It goes to the miners, and they pay a little... The same token. It's simple. It's really easy. Instead of doing SHA-256 mining for crypto, you just run a science.exe and the scientists give us the work and we forward it to them. And that's it. It's like the simplest thing ever. Now, the only hard part is you die in fees because since we would actually be a successful application and we would be using Ethereum, we could fill up the blocks with just paying our miners. So then we have to queue funds on the central server and pay people less often to not fill up the Ethereum blocks. And then if we end up filling up all the Ethereum blocks like CryptoKitties did, we can just airdrop all our token holders and use a different system. So, you know, I've got some white papers that state that we should be able to do a full blockchain using useful proof of work. However, that is hard mode and that is a computer science breakthrough. So we save that for last. So first iteration, we just do CFD code. Next iteration, um, maybe different project, maybe a different ticker, we do machine learning. And then third level is we have our own blockchain where we do our own useful proof of work instead of just doing SHA-256 hashing. 
Wouldn't an important element of this being that miners are being paid more here than elsewhere? Is So if we have retail adoption, that'll be something no other cryptocurrency has. No other cryptocurrency has retail adoption whatsoever. Um, you know, I've said this a few times, you take a gun, you go outside and start pointing at people and go, show me your crypto wallet or I'll shoot you. And then you check like transactions that aren't to an exchange. There's nothing. You're going to shoot everybody you find. Right. Because no one. I'm not letting you near a gun, Richard. Never. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm not letting you poker guys near kids. Just kidding. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Why are you throwing me in there? What? (laughs) So like, uh, it, it, I'm just kidding. You know, most poker players are kids these I, days. It's not good enough, whatever. So, fucking, if, if, uh, if you have retail adoption, then you can pay your miners more because the real world is giving you economic energy that you can then forward on to them. So, normal tokens that get mined by miners just have the cryptocurrency hype value. And then we have that plus the retail adoption. So, we should be able to pay more. If we get, you know, people to use it, which they should, because it's really affordable computation. Because, like, how much exactly would I need from you in money to replace the busy work the miners are doing with real work? I don't need much. I would, and that price would only increase when you had to compete against other people that wanted to use that work, right? So, have you found it rewarding to be working on your own own project compared to? Yeah. Yes. So, if you, if all you if all you do all day. I'll tell you something I regret. Oh, I've got a lot, long list. Uh, Let's go through I, it. I got some time. <laughs> all right. If if I had not tried to pump Bitcoin and shill it and say how amazing it was and, and say so many great things about it and go on different television appearances and saying great things about it, if I had not done that and focused on getting more Bitcoin instead, so two options. I could have either tried to push up the value of the Bitcoin I had or... I could have just got more Bitcoin and let everyone else do that shit. I would have had so much more money. Price still would have gone up. Everything still would have been fine, probably. And then I would have more Bitcoin. It would have been smarter, right? Or it's just like the same position that I'm in or Roger Ver is in or any other crypto OG is in. If I've only got so much marketing energy uh, and so much ability to reach out into the world, what is going to give me a higher percentage-wise return on investment? Trying to move something that's extremely heavy the whole Bitcoin price or something that's extremely light, my token's price. It's going to be a lot easier to move my token. I can probably get my token to go thousands of percent and I could probably only get Bitcoin to go 10% for the same energy, the same effort. And so there's this, this prediction that all crypto OGs, this is kind of my prediction, um, that all crypto OGs will transition to, to having their own projects and their own tokens because the return on investment is so much higher the percentage-wise gains are so much higher, you should do your own project. And luckily, in my case, I think my project's actually better. So if, if all Bitcoin does is give people the ability to move tokens around that have economic value with censorship resistance, mine does that. It's a ERC-223 token. Can't censor them. They run on Ethereum. Same crap, right? What? You want to move value around? You can go to exchange. Like It's, it's the same crap, except mine will do real science to make the world a better place. Bitcoin doesn't do that shit. It just wastes electricity doing SHA-256. So if the, sec- if the security... Uh, I don't know about that. The security was more important, and attacks actually happened. Bitcoin would dominate. It would win. There's no fucking attacks. So if there's no attacks, exactly what is your security theater getting you? Let me know as you go down the security tree. Okay, here's Bitcoin at the top. Litecoin, Ripple, on down the list. Which one of these currencies has had a, we got fucked over not having enough hash power? None of them. It's security theater. So if you don't need that much hash power and it's not actually getting you anything, as evidenced by the other 100 tokens that have had no fucking problems, you're just wasting energy. So if my project lets you move a token around and waste less energy and get more onboarding and economic input from real world industry, it's fucking good. It's, it's great. But maybe, then the if bigger, we have, maybe the bigger we'll, currencies are bigger because they were secure. Dude, if I gave like if I gave you a bunch of shots with five six miners right now, enough to attack the network, you would just mine Bitcoin with them because you make more money. It's security theater. Like you don't need this much hash rate. If you cut if you cut the Bitcoin hash rate in half, nothing bad would happen. Do you know how I know? Because it happened when Bcash happened. The Bitcoin hash rate dropped in half, and nothing fucking happened. 
it, it didn't matter. And so you could cut it in half again and nothing would happen. And you could cut it off again and nothing would happen. I mean, you would have to cut it in half a lot of times before someone decided, oh, I'm going to try and do a double spend or I'm going to try and do a time warp or I'm going to try and rewrite the chain for a while. This shit is not happening, dude. It's, and, and if it's not, it's just waste. And I can capitalize on that waste and use it for good. <laughs>